Was it Cece? Cecilia? Oh, warm right now. Don't, Schmidt. Don't. All right. Please put your shirt back on. Finally, just the two of us, huh? Oh, God, you're about to say something stupid, aren't you? Girl, I'm gonna marry you. Jar. Your hand is on my leg. Hey, your hand's on my leg. No, it really isn't. Classic he said, she said. Good night, Cece. She's sleeping on my sheets right now, not yours. You have a really beautiful body, Cece. I really appreciate that. About okay, you. come on. Oh, it was God like. Schmidt, go up to the roof. I'll be there in 10 minutes. I love Cece, but she's not ready for you. I get it. This isn't going to happen. I just want to sleep in my own bed. I'm sorry for everything. I can be a jerk. I hate sleeping alone. Me too. You tell anyone we held hands, I have two people on my phone that will kill you. Sleeping on your nose, right? What? What? Look at this recipe. Where in this recipe does it say put mashed potatoes on Schmidt's nose? I'm really sorry, Cece. I'll never yell at you like that again. Are you cold? Do, do you want my cardi? I brought you a gift. Out of tongue. It's perfume. I, I, you know, I made, I made it specifically for you. You don't deserve to be treated like that. You just gotta tell her no. Otherwise, all she'll do is see you as a pretty face in a hot body. I'm sorry. What was that? You have a pretty face. No, no, no. Because the, the second part. I do not put your luck with me. That's no. That's your perfume. You wore it? Yeah, and it smells terrible. You, I will never yeah. give up. Where's what's his name? We are actually gonna meet up later. Let me help you. I'm gonna make her jealous. All right, can you can you stop? Cece, you are way too beautiful. Can you stop looking at me like that, please? What? Look, I'm not even looking at you. Hey. Hey. All right, just get in there, man. so good right now. I almost tried to hook up. That was the last time. You said that twice last night. You'll be back. Just get me out of here without someone seeing. Man? Schmidt slept with the same girl twice in a row. I owe you five dollars. Those are the sounds of true love. Bet she had the time of her life. What happened? Did I miss her? Who is this bitch? We want to meet her. She happens to be an incredibly beautiful woman. You know, I said that last time was the last time, but... You want to come down? Yeah, I want to come. <clears throat> yeah, I'll come down. That sounds good. Come on, Schmidt. I can't be the first woman who's ashamed to be with you. OK, look, I won't go into your party if if you go to breakfast with me tomorrow in public. Yeah, OK. The guys are always just showing me off, and I hate it. I want to tell people because I think that you are the dopest, flyest, smartest, ballsiest, bitchiest, truly terrifying woman that I have sexually enjoyed in a really long time. I've never gone through anything like this. Yeah, well, I have. What happened? My dad died when I was 12. You're not a cat that died. Don't compare my dad to your cat. It's a big cat in human size. <laughs> I clearly have no control in this relationship. We're a mile away from the loft, Cece. I'm not getting caught with you. Um, I'm fine with it. I'm seeing somebody. So you're the boss? Or... I am definitely the boss. No, no, Cece. I'm not having sex with you right now. I've never had to do this. I've never had to seduce somebody before. I don't want to ruin what we have. You think we have something to ruin? This is pretty great. Just, I want to emphasize that we are not dating. I can't stress that enough. This is just sex. Did you make that? What? And Cece let you wear it? Well, she thought it was funny. You don't like him! Oh my god, I think you're right. And you didn't want to tell me because you knew that I would know. And you weren't ready to admit it to yourself. I will cut off your weaker finger, Schmidt, and I'm going to start with your pinky. Enough. You guys are adorable. We are not adorable, OK? We are just two people having casual, successful sex. My bad. You know, just thinking that we're a cute couple is, I don't know, it's kind of a turn off. How do we explain to her that this is just, it's just sex? I 
think it's time that I take you on a real date. You're asking me out on a date? Yeah, it'll be our first real date. Take someone else. You mean like another girl? Yeah, Schmidt. That's what this is. That's the deal. You're an idiot. What? I thought this is what you wanted. This is a really good example of people who should not be making love. Have fun. Cece, are you okay? Damn it. You're just gonna end up pregnant anyways. What? Cece, are you pregnant? I don't know. We have to wait for the test results, but I'm late. Maybe this isn't exactly in my five-year plan, but maybe this is fate. You know, maybe I hit the jackpot. Maybe this is the universe telling me that I'm never gonna find a girl better than Cece. Cece, are you crying? No, no. You are an amazing woman. And you're going to do and be so many things in this life. And maybe you'll be a mom, and maybe, maybe not. But I will support you no matter what. Oh, got her period. You can go on your date. Right. No more stupid mistakes, right? Right. <laughs> so, look, we've barely spoken since I almost uh, impregnated you. <laughs> you know, it's just, it's, this whole thing has just kind of got me thinking. Maybe this is just too intense and we should stop. That's what you want? That's how I feel right now. He goes out to eat me. Oh, Nadia, I, I think, think that's a great that. idea. What? Why don't you just tell him you like him? It doesn't matter if I like him. It's over. And you're fine with that. Well, um, why was your date last night? Brief, small man go to hospital. The hospital? Oh my god. How do you look this good under fluorescent lights? I am so, so sorry. What happened? I broke my penis. You what? I broke my penis. I'm leaving, I cannot believe I can't. How are you upset right now? Cece, you ended this. Because I like you. You like me. I was surprised too. How does a guy like me have a chance at making someone like Cece happy? You don't. I should just give up. That's crazy. She needs you. You are exactly what she needs. For the first time in my life, I actually feel like I want something that lasts. And I want it with you. I feel the same way. You came. <laughs> That's my job. Gino is just some guy that I see around the office, except for in my office, they rub us down with baby oil before we start. Yeah, I, I get that. I got it. Look, your business is selling sex. Sure. You're a sex worker. She's never gonna be happy with somebody like me. You, you want Cece to go away? I want her to be happy. When, when you care about somebody, you do what's what's best for them. Is this it? isn't working out. Why are you trying to push me away? I saw your phone, Cece. You went through my phone? What? No. It's about trust, and I told you how this was gonna be, and I asked you to get okay with it. How am I supposed to trust you, Cece? You slept with me. I mean, that doesn't say much about your taste in men. She hasn't spoken to you all summer since you broke up with her. I, I can't go upstairs, though, because of the whole Schmidt thing. I had to check out the, the new and improved Schmidt. I, I wanted to tell you. I want you to meet Robbie, my boyfriend. Thank you for inviting us. Why haven't you called me back in two months, Cece? You were the one who broke I up with me. I don't see you until you show up here tonight. You and I both know we never would have worked. We are far too alike. Both so beautiful. You're gonna be fine. You know that, right? Why him? He's just a good guy. And I'm um, too dangerous. Yeah, that's it. Oh, is Cece here? Schmidt. Where's, Bl where's Blobby? Where's that dude? Oh, you mean my boyfriend? That you're a Romney? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm a Romney. Hell yeah, I'm a Romney. Oh, come on. You're calling Mitt Romney dad now? That's where we're at? Mm -hmm. Schmidt, we get it. He's the dad you never had. You're the only one that I could talk to. Tell me what happened. Well, I'm back to being Schmidt. Your life would not have been better if you were a Romney. See, see, look, my dad left when I was eight. He's your dad. No one understands. Call your dad. Cece is scared to end it with Robbie <laughs> because clearly she's still nuts about me. Cece, you're an angel, as always. Get off my horse, Schmidt. You kind of you look like a bride and a groom. I remember you saying that you missed hanging out with Schmidt. So you said that? Yeah, yeah. 
Is that it? But... No, because I want to hang out with you too. With Robbie there? Yeah. I'm not into the nice thing, Robbie. Well, that's what I thought, too. Yeah. You know, until I found uh, this one right here. <laughs> you mean Cece? You think that I'm nice. Am I nice? No. Thank you. I feel like he doesn't even know me. I would, I would never run away from you. But if I did, I would run way faster than Robbie. You know me, Schmidt. You don't ever have to be nice around me. No. No. I can't do this to Robbie. I'm nice. I'm not nice. I will never stop wanting to kiss you. I am a monster. Thank you. I really needed this. Just broke up with Robbie. Wow. You're single? You're single. Really single? She's single now. Technically, you're, si you're single. Are you not Schmidt, single? Schmidt, I have to get serious about my future. Otherwise, my mom is going to set me up with a hundred sweet, gentle, painfully boring Indian guys. I'm in love, man. I'm in love with Cece. Yeah, everyone knows that, you dumbass. You always have been. I gotta tell her, man. I love you, Cece. And I have been in love with you for so long. Is this real? I'm ready for a serious commitment. Let's have dinner. Okay. I'm here for dinner. I made it. It's really late. We got the account. I was with my boss. We got the account. We did it. You were with your boss. What? The woman no. who made you sign a contract so she could have sex with you? No. Yeah, I told Cece that I loved her. And then I got drunk. She called her mom. And... You think I'm ready to have you set me up? Can I talk to you a little later? Oh, were you hoping that I still had some soul left for you to crush? You know, I, I know you're trying to avoid me, but just, just take this gift I got you and I will walk away. I really want us to be friends. I really do care about you. This makes it so much better. Here, this is for you. I just wanted to try to find a way to say thank you for telling me that you loved me, even if I was the one person. You're welcome, Cece. I didn't really give it away, you know. I'd never do that. You have to move on, okay? You can't love somebody forever. I'd really like to move on. Yeah, I get it. I'd like to move on all night long okay, without you. I get it. I always have and always will. had moved on. Only people who haven't moved on say things like that. Girl. Please leave. You and I not being together does not make sense to me. I may be an idiot, but I'm smart enough to know what I lost. Well, now that the mums approve, when do you want to do this thing? Is that a, is that a proposal? Do you want to do this thing? Yes. Yes. Hey, hey. What are you doing here? He left me a voicemail from the ambulance. Listen, I think it might be good for him if you just gave him some space. Space? Cece, you're getting married. It's killing him. Um, just tell him I came, mm -hmm. came by or, mm -hmm. or not. He's waking up. You should go. Okay. No. Plus ones are for spouses and serious partners only. So you just assume that I won't have a serious partner by then? So that I'm going to do my best to make you the happiest woman on the face of the earth. I just wanted to say that if I was ever selfish in our relationship... What do you mean if? And what do you mean relationship? That's fair. Um, if I was, I sincerely apologize. I'm really happy for you. Thank you. <gasps> Schmidt! She doesn't want to get married. What did Jess say? Well, Jess didn't hear it. Cece told me with her eyes. Oh, so nothing happened. Cool, so she's married. She's no, right. Guys, I know Cece. I know her looks. Schmidt, what were you doing back there? Cece's backing out of the wedding. What? It's true. She told me. With her eyes. Oh, my God. I thought you were talking about something real. Schmidt, the wedding's happening. Let her go. I have let her go. I'm with Elizabeth now, and she's amazing. Look, Jess, I'm telling you this as Cece's friend and nothing more. Cece loves Chevray. I know that because I know her better than you do. False. 
I'm sorry, everyone, but I can't do this. This isn't what I want. What I want is to be with someone else. I sabotaged her wedding as a friend. I didn't want her to marry someone else as a friend. It was Schmidt that you were talking about, right? It was. Are you in love with her or are you in love with me? You have to decide. Two women are in love with me. The problem is, is I'm in love with both of them. You, you don't want to be with me. Of course I want to be with you. My office is throwing a party tomorrow, and I would, I'd really like for you to be there. Well, I have a photo shoot, but I think I could come after that. Oh, yeah, know. well, that sounds good. Who's that? Mm hmm Hey, there she is. My one and only. You know how I broke up with Elizabeth so that I could start dating Cece again? Absolutely. It was really hard for you. Yeah, that actually never happened. Cece's gonna walk through that door any minute, and you have to tell her the truth. Jess, please, this would wreck her. I'm begging you. I, I know you don't believe me, but I do care about her. Either you tell her, or I will. You're right. I'll tell her. But now it's time you do the right thing, Schmidt. I've been cheating on, on you with Elizabeth. Cece, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't. I just. <laughs> Is there some place maybe we can uh, go talk? Everybody knows anyway, Schmidt. Might as well just say it. I didn't want to hurt you. You have to know that I did not want to hurt you, please. I, I, I'm begging you if, you, if you take anything away from this, know that I did not want to hurt you. I didn't want to hurt anyone, especially you. You have no idea what you mean to me. And I got caught up in this thing. And I, I don't know how to do this. I got lost. And I'm sorry. You're sorry. You didn't want to hurt anybody? That's the best you can do, Schmidt? Really? I don't know. I don't know you. Goodbye, Schmidt. You did a bad thing. Deal with it. I'm just torn up about this whole CC and Elizabeth thing. I feel so guilty. I can't even look at myself in the mirror. Find out if you're coming to my party today. Please come to my party, Cece. Schmidt, you know, I don't think I'm ready for that. Yeah. So. What if I could promise you Schmidt wouldn't be there? Actually seeing Schmidt, I, I finally feel like I have some closure. I'm having second thoughts about Coach and Cece. Maybe I should stop their date. I love her, Jess. I have to tell her. You can't. You have to let her go. I can't do anything. No skills. I told you this, but I didn't even graduate high school. A lot of people never graduated high school. Why did I think that I could bartend? Because you can. You are strong and you are confident. Those are skills. Use them. You called me your friend. Did I? Cece, help. Bouncers after me. Oh, okay. okay. Cool. He's gone, Schmidt. Is he gone? Mm-hmm. You can stop now. He's tenacious. <laughs> He's definitely gonna be back. <laughs> Pretty sure it's all clear. Thank you. Schmidt, you got something crazy around your neck. Abby made this. Not a fan. I forgot how much I love making jewelry. Schmidt's been lending me money for supplies. Yeah. Hey, you have a Schmidt's keys. Kind of got a weird favor to ask. We are snooping on Abby. Do not trust that girl. What are you guys doing here? Schmidt, I know that Abby is fun and she is charming, but I'm telling you, she's bad news. But, but Abby has changed. You've known this girl for a couple weeks, okay? I've known her for 20 years, and I am telling you, she's not to be trusted. 
I know how you work. You glom onto guys and then you just bleed them dry. Well, you are not gonna do it to Schmidt. So I'm gonna need you to figure out why you're really doing all this for Schmidt. It was wrong of me to get involved. Are you sure you don't want to tap Abby's phone, run a DNA sample? I was worried about you, okay? I didn't want her to take advantage of you because I know that you will do anything for the people that you care about. Well, I guess I could say the same thing about you. I'm Cece. I see, see, I'm Buster. Like, you're really beautiful. Like, I want to take you out sometime. Thought it was about time I graduated high school. I'm proud of you. That's it. No snide comments. I've got legions, but I'm going to be supportive. Anyway, probably won't even take the test. I failed the last five practice exams, so that seems like a bad sign. Of course you're failing. You're studying here in a rowdy tavern. I'm taking over. You need a tutor. Yes, I'll do it. You realize I have a boyfriend. Right. Oh, the hunky Australian boy? Congratulations. Cece, this is about your education. What, are you scared of a couple practice tests? Just something more important came up. That's all. There should be nothing more important to you, Cece, than your future. Because nothing is more important to me than your future. Do you know how stupid it makes me feel to care more about your future than you do? I guess that's an excuse for my new beginning. This could be good. I'm in. What's that? It's a class ring for Cece. She got her GED, and I've been tutoring her. I this maid. You give her jewelry. Then what? I tell her that I'm still in love with her, and that I want her back, and then we have sex until the boat sinks. I knew it. I knew it. Just wanted to see up again. No! 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 Cece. Mm. Hey. Um, your hair and, and your moonlight it looks so shiny. You know, I'm trying to get a signal so I can talk to Buster, but it's just impossible out here. Why is it so important for you to get in touch with Buster? You know better than anyone that I don't have the best of luck with relationships. And I know you think he's young for me. I don't. I just want you to be happy. Thank you. Cece, you checking out Schmidt? What? Let me see that. <gasps> what are you talking about, Winston? Shame, shame, I know your name. You do not know my name, Winston. <laughs> uh, what is she doing here? I thought she was in Australia. Cece has a boyfriend, and your obsession with her is not good for you, man. So you and Buster broke up. Sorry. Yeah, I'm just waiting for you to do something weird now. Yeah, I feel like I'm not so. I'm gonna go. Got your message. Where is the freaking? You play along or just goes to jail. What are you doing? Hey, look, it's my girlfriend Cece. So this fall, you shouldn't be with the normal guy. All right, okay. It was Mark. Paul Gosler. Right. I, I, I surrender. That's all. Can I come to the wedding? <laughs> you think Slater and Squeezer got me? I'm kidding. I just wanted to freak you out. <sighs> you really had me going there for a second. <laughs> it works every time with you. Sorry about the whole kissing thing. Oh, you don't have to apologize. It kiss you back a little. So. Should we tell Paul together? Oh. Well, what do you think he's doing right now? I was thinking maybe I could have the breast reduction surgery. No! I wonder who this is. What? Your breasts belong to all of us! Who are you to decide? I mean, I guess if I'm being honest, it doesn't matter what size you are. I'm always gonna love you. Because you're attached to the most beautiful person in the whole world. Oh, crap, you picked me. So where exactly is this date of mine? All right, I invited Lucy, like you asked. Your date's name is Jeff, and he will be here. Well, at least he has a date, because mine never showed up. Jeff is coming. It's like we both struck out. OK, Schmidt, there is no Jeff. Come on. But to be honest, I'm kind of glad there isn't. You know, Thanksgiving should be spent with the people that you care about. Let me get you a beer. Are you CC? I'm Jeff. Um, I'm Schmidt's friend. Hey, 
man to man. Anything what? I'd love to take a run at your girl. Excuse me? You do this for me. And I'll do this for you. What's going on, guys? Closing some deals? Well, actually, no, we are not. You know what they call you, where I'm from? A dirty old bitch. Next time down, you're gonna be kicked out of the Good, line. I won't be in this line. Don't be an A club of your part on. See, see, what's wrong? Look at, come on, just tell me what he said. Without going into specifics, he disrespected something more important to me than any stupid lamp. Daniel Craig's jewelry? No. Something priceless. I know this is kind of dumb to say, but I really like being. I like being your friend, too. Yeah. Merry Christmas, Shmay. Merry Christmas, Cecilia. Oh, hi. <laughs> Schmidt, this is Fawn Moscato. It's not okay. We should be together. It's Valentine's Day. Come on, you don't really care about Valentine's Day, do you? I don't know. Maybe I do. Here, Cece, have some water. No, thank you. Valentine's Day just sucks. I don't know. I kind of like it. Since when? Since a few years ago, since three years ago, to be exact. Oh, what happened to me? Oh. It's when you first took a chance on me. Yeah, I know, I was there. It was the best night of my life. And ever since then, Valentine's Day has always been my favorite holiday, and I hope that you don't remember that I can say any of these things tomorrow. Look me in the eyes and tell me you don't have feelings for Shmoo. Dude, you are nowhere near my eyes. I want you. I want you to be my boyfriend. Jake Apex? Who is Jake Apex? Jake Apex? This is CeCe's high school crush. Yeah, well, I got a bad feeling about this guy. Why? Because he's bomb and CeCe wants him? No other reasons. Oh, he's here. Oh he's here. God. He's fucking. Oh, is he a firefighter? OK, I'm going to go to the bathroom. No. Do not go and talk to him. Do not go and talk to him. Cece, not everything's about you, narcissist. Just go to the bathroom like you said you And he's talking to him. Cece, you're the most amazing woman I ever met. If you, you want Jake Apex, I'm gonna help you get Jake Apex. Never gonna stop trying to make you happy, Cece. Promise you, for the rest of my life. Oh, look at that, it's fun. Hello, Councilwoman Moscato. I've always had a crush on him. I'm in love with someone else. Has anybody heard from Cece? Because she hasn't answered any of my texts, and I'm starting to get worried. You know why I'm keeping my distance. I like Schmidt. Is she mad at someone? Nah, no. So it is Schmidt. Yeah. It's okay. Look, I promise I won't tell. Nobody's gonna tell. That guy. Huh? Yeah, can you blame me? He's perfect. Right now, I just need you to be there for me and hold my hand, okay? To Fawn, a woman who likes me, not in spite, but because of my flaws. I do like you. <laughs> Fawn is teaching me how to be the most effective and successful man and lover I possibly can be. Really? I thought you were fine before. When you two were together. <laughs> Which time, the, the first time or the third time? Because because you two were very off and on in a, in a very confusing way. <laughs> I've had sex with him so many times. We have a fun thing together, don't Super we? Super fun, yeah, I really enjoy it. What is her, what is it, Cecil? What is your name? <laughs> You'll learn it, don't worry. Hey, Cece, I'm glad you're here. I need you to put bronzer all over my body. Wait, what do you think, Cece? You, you like Fawn, right? Yeah, I mean, as, as long as you're happy. You know what, enough. I cannot just stand here and watch Fawn treat you like she's your pageant mom. She needs to accept you exactly how you are. You need to find somebody that will. Because I think you are fine as is. Cece, are you in crisis? I'm fine. Cece, fine. How are you? You know, because the last time we spoke, you said you were feeling a little, you know, used. Well, not anymore. Just, I just, I can't sit here and watch Schmidt with Fawn. And I don't think they're breaking up anytime soon, so... Cece, they're never gonna last. He doesn't really love her. Did he tell you that? No, but... 
Go on your trip. Go get over Schmidt. Don't listen to me. I'm gonna climb that mountain. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, but I'm not gonna do it for Schmidt. I'm gonna do it for me. We can't get married. I barely even know you. You, you know me. The real you, Fawn. This is the real me. It's not what I want. I don't want any of that. I want to be in love. You're not really in love with me. I'm not really in love with you. Are you breaking up with me? I guess I kind of am. Single again, I'm a new man. Leaving the past behind. Five dollars belongs in the box. It's from the night that I first met Cece. Looks like it's finally just the two of us, huh? Oh, God, you're about to say something stupid, are you? And then I said something stupid, and Cece made me put money in the douche bag. So goodbye, Cece. But does she know that Schmidt and Fawn broke up? Is she getting our voicemails? I don't know. She hasn't called me back. The box of memories. Memories that I'm not ready to let go of yet. Maybe if I could talk to Cece. Can't talk to Cece. Cece's on top of a mountain. Look, I know this is unusual, but I need that box back, Wally. I need it back more than anything else I've ever needed in my life. I spent $500 to get back a $5 bill. I need to move on. I'm never gonna get Cece back. I know it's my fault that I lost her. You lost her twice. You had her. her. Why would you have to? Then you got her, then you blew it. Then Who are you clarifying it. this for? Do you know how Cece feels about you? Yeah, I mean, she said a thousand times that she only wants to be friends with me. Just Cece doesn't love me, and she never will. Oh, I have to tell you something, Schmidt. I, oh, but I can't tell you. I'll tell you. Loophole. Nick, Cece's in love with Schmidt. Also, Winston promised. Why are we Winston. talking about Winston? Cece left me. Nick, we did it. I gotta go. Cece. So I was I was on the top of this mountain and I finally got cell reception and there were like 20 voicemails. Are you in love with me? Because I'm in love with you. Deeply. I assume that you would never because I've messed this up so many times. And you've made it very clear that you just want to be friends with me and I value that friendship so much. So if I'm ruining it by doing any of this, please, please stop me. <laughs> Stopped me, but you remember this? I know this might seem crazy uh, and probably a little bit impulsive, but it's not. Not for me. I've known since the minute that I met you. Celia Puri. Oh God, you're gonna say something stupid, aren't you? Oh God, you're about to say something stupid, aren't you? Uh -huh. Girl, I'm gonna marry you. Girl, will you marry me? Yes! 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 yes. 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 We're getting married! You guys are engaged? I haven't told my mom that I'm getting married. I'm just so worried that she's not gonna like Schmidt, and then she won't give us her blessing. Well, you're the man who is marrying my daughter. Sure no wonder she didn't tell me that she was engaged. Oh. I'm assuming she was afraid I would disapprove. But now that you've met me. I disapprove. Strong disapprove. Cece, when were you gonna tell her? On our wedding day? I'm so sorry. I just, I wanted the moment to be right. I'm sorry. He makes me so happy, and I'm gonna marry him. I will not give my blessing. You have my blessing. You have my blessing, too. Mine, too. We'll get her on board. 
I promise. Mm, what's that for? Just cause. Can we just take a moment to appreciate Cece? I mean, the effect that she has on people, it's really incredible. I can't believe <laughs> she's marrying me. Look, Schmidt and I are not gonna work if you and I can't get along because you're Schmidt's family. Yeah, I feel a little jealous. I mean, to be honest, I think I was a little jealous too. Of me? In a way, you're always gonna know him a little bit better than me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay, easy, all right. There <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Everybody's, whoa, mother, I'm right here. And, uh, your number? Actually, This I'm... woman is engaged. Thank you. My bad, I didn't see a ring. I'm, wor I'm working on it. So you're doing it again. I'm doing what? Ever since we got engaged, you've been acting insanely jealous. Look, all bartenders get hit on. But you have good hands. No! Back off, beach house! So you're totally fine, huh? So there is a window of time before any wedding where some amazing person comes out of the woodwork and tries to steal a bride. I didn't even know that you were engaged. I didn't see a ring. I am working on it! You really don't trust me, do you? Just, Cece, please, please, darling, sit. Yeah, why don't you get her a ring? Because I'm afraid that whatever ring I get her isn't gonna be good enough. Are you worried that the ring won't be good enough or that you won't be good enough? I think she's way too good for you. No, no, I know that. You can just love her and thank the universe that she loves you back for some reason. I, I still can't believe that you're gonna marry me. I love you, and I know you love me, and so... I give you my trust, and I don't feel the need to show the world that I own you by putting some gaudy gem on your hand. I love you. <laughs> but you are getting me a real ring. You're gonna have a diamond the size of a razor. We can go tomorrow. Pick it out together. <laughs> I've been thinking. Damn it, Miller! Uh, Nick! What? It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Yeah, but it's your dream. But I already have my dream. It's marrying you. Cece's got a big audition today to be a reporter. It's my job to give her love and support. That's how I get her to go to the audition. And what if I'm not good enough to my dream job? And what if I can't do it, okay? What? You didn't mean that, right? Yeah, I did. Schmidt, okay? I'm a bartender and a model. I know the audition is scary for you. I would not be doing my job as the man who loves you if I let you walk away from this. Thank God you're here. Oh, sorry. No, you should have. You were right, I was chickening out. How did it go? Real bad. It went real bad. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for pushing me. We need to do that kind of thing for each other. Yes, please. <laughs> I agree. Everything is changing. I'm not gonna have this place anymore and I'm getting married. Oh my God, Jess, I'm getting married. Are you having second thoughts? No, no, I, I know I wanna marry Shred more than anything in the world. It's just, everything is gonna change and I am scared. Oh, honey. You need to call Schmidt. No, no, I can't call him and tell him that I'm scared. We're about to spend the rest of our lives together, so you're gonna have to hear all my stories. I wanna spend the rest of my life hearing all your stories. We'll be scared together, and we'll be really happy together, too. Maybe you should reach out and talk to your dad again. Why? Why did you have his number in the wedding drive at all? Because I was maybe warming up to the idea of inviting him. I think you should watch. Son. You should watch. I know you're mad, I get it. I'd love to have a drink with you. And meet the man that you've become. I want to say I'm sorry. I really am sorry. Gavin, this is my fiance, Cece. She is the reason that I am the man that I am today. It was wonderful to meet you, Cece. I'm the terrible father. Thank you, because whatever you did or didn't do, Schmidt turned out amazing. Get married, Nick. How am I gonna defend Cece? She deserves the best husband in the world. I don't have what it takes. Of course you have what it takes to be a modern husband. What if Louise was right? What if I can't take care of Schmidt? How can you say you don't take care of people? You've been taking care of me my entire life. How 
How am I supposed to marry the most perfect woman in the world if I can't give her the most perfect wedding? I'm sorry your mother's not coming, Cece. Everything inside of me just said yes. I just looked at it. You know, I just had this feeling that I was home. To my mom and my mom. She says you're gonna have two moms at the wedding. I'm not even gonna have one. I really thought that she would just show up last minute because she would know how happy it would be. I don't know why I'm crying. Anymore. I'm flying to Portland to try to get Cece's mom to come to the wedding. And I can't take a vow that all I care about is her happiness and not try to do something about it. It's by far the most romantic thing that anyone has ever done for me. I love you so Why much. I'm marrying you because you do this stuff This is the happiest like day this. of my life. It's also so dumb. So like, dumb. So just dumb. the dumbest. I'm not going to miss this wedding. I'm going to get off this plane no matter what. You just need to buy me an hour. Mom? Mama P. Schmidt with the latest Why I Love CC. Today's episode, Honesty with a capital Ouch. He called you? Every Monday for the past year. Your daughter is the best thing. Just know that if you miss your daughter's wedding, you're gonna regret it for the rest of your life. I am delighted for you to marry this man. Have the party with Emily. Me? No. Okay, no. Have the party. We'll... We'll get married at City Hall. My whole life has been about this party. My whole life is you. What are you guys doing here in the middle of the night? Come on, buddy, we gotta get you ready. I think that I can wait another second. Just when I thought you couldn't make me any happier, look what you did today. You're amazing. I hope for as long as we stay together that I always remain someone that you want to holla at. I look forward to a lifetime of joy, growth, and constant mispronunciation of common words. For the first time, I see what the rest of my life looks like. Uh, we need a glass. I want to hang our wedding photo in our house. I want to start our lives together. I know. I'm so excited! We're really getting a house! We got the house. We got the house! I just really need you both to support me. I support you. I will always support you. This is my man, and he is a distinguished people. Thank you, Smith. Boy, that was real embarrassing for you, huh? Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Cece Schmidt. Love you. I think I'm gonna start managing models. That's amazing. Congratulations, Cece. I think you're really great at that. Proud of you. I know you're excited, but maybe don't put so much pressure on it. You know, we I mean we all we all know who your dad is. Who he was. Who he was though. Just don't expect too much. Just be happy that he's coming at all. You called him. The guy is who he is. You know, maybe you just need to drop this idea that he'll ever be the bigger man. I think that needs to be you, babe. You're the bigger man. Would you like to do the honors? I think the man of the house traditionally does that. Oh my gosh, Mint and Cece will be in a new home next year. That was amazing. Hey, you have done so much for me, more than any normal person, and I love you. Your home office. <gasps> I can't believe that you did this. Framed shirtless picture of you. Well, I'm the original Cece's boy. I can't believe that we're not spending Valentine's Day together. I know, it sucks. Happy bone of her. I love where your head's at. Mm -hmm. I love where your 
body is at even more. I got a whole thing. This is completely my fault. I just really wanted to do something big for you because you do so many romantic things for me. And I just wanted to find some way to show you how much I love you. Instead, all I did was mess up your job. You mean more to me than any job ever. Love you. Love you. Kim, this job means so much to me. She means a lot more. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Mm -hmm. But tonight we'll be doing it for the first time on our first night in our first house. I love you, Cece. I love you so much. Hello? Cece, you're pregnant. Hello? Cece, you're pregnant. Oh my god, Cece's pregnant. Who the hell is this? Cece is pregnant? What are you talking about? Pull the plug. Sadie told Allie that Cece is pregnant. Pull, pull the plug. Why, why would she do that? Because she's pregnant. Winston, he doesn't know. Is it true? Yeah, it's true. Just get home. She needs to hear it from me. What's happening? I'm pregnant. What? I mean, you're pregnant, we're pregnant. We're having a baby, Cece. We're having a baby. The caramel miracle. We made a caramel miracle. is Ruth Bader Parik Schmidt and I'm three today. Can you say that? Daddy, do the special words. I, I know. They're all honey, they're all special. Ruth, do you want to go to sleep? No way. If you do, I'll write you a check for six thousand dollars. Yes! Yes! That didn't quite go as planned. Wake up, Daddy! Ruth, just ignore them. You're gonna do great in there, okay? Feeling good? Ruth's gonna do what Ruth's gonna do. Maybe we just need to get out of her way. I don't know what I would do if I lost you. Is a year a long time to you? How long would you wait before you replace me if I died? How long do you wait to remarry? I don't know, three years. Three years? A hundred years. I'd wait a hundred years, okay? Not okay. Not long enough. Are you kidding me? We'd both be dead of natural causes. Perhaps the correct answer would be for eternity, forever. I only blurted out three years because I don't even want to think about you being gone. I don't know what I would do without you. I would end up dragging a lawn chair out to your grave on the 4th of July and lighting a sparkler, and Ruth would want to come with me because she would say, Mommy, Kevin's having a party, and I don't want to go to the grave again. Okay, so I'm just alone on a chair, and I miss you. I don't want you alone at my grave. That sounds terrible. I want you to find someone who's going to take care of you, who's going to love you as much as I do. I just want you. Daddy, come pick me up. Mommy isn't here yet. Daddy's on his way. Okay, thank God you're alive. Of course we're alive. What are you doing here? Mm -hmm. I gotta go back. What about spa time? I'm sorry. You look like my grandmother right before she went insane. Good, great. How's work? I think I want to quit. What, really? I just kept wishing that I was here taking care of Ruth. The best job I've ever had. Anything that makes you happy, that's what you should do. Okay, so I love her more every day. I still want to have another baby with you more than anything else in the whole wide world. Me too. More than anything. Trying for another baby. Oh my god, congratulations! Tell us where Aunt Jess is, okay? Sure, for a hundred dogs. I've never been more proud of it. I mean, this is my daughter. Unbelievable. Yeah. You're on with Schmidt and Cece. Ruth's on! That's where I met you for the first time. 